Nigerians desire one political ideology, and that is good governance. Now, the decision of the federal government to implement the Stephen Oronsaye report has sparked conversations across the country, while many experts have hailed this brave move by the president, Bola Tinubu, to cut the cost of governance. Others are sounding a note of caution. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 elections, Peter Ubi, has applauded the decision of the federal government to implement the report. But a retired director of, from Kwara State Civil Service and a fellow of the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria, Abdullahi Ibrahim, called for setting up of an implementation technical committee for the execution of the Oronsaye report. So let's hear from the special advisor to the president on policy coordination, Hadiza Bala, on the matter. Agencies that are required to be merged, I'll take it. Um, National Agency for Control of AIDS, HIV AIDS, NACA to be merged with the Center for Disease Control in the Federal Ministry of Health. National Emergency Management Agency to be merged with the National Commission for Refugee Migration and Internally Displaced Persons. The Directorate of Technical Cooperation in Africa to be merged with the Directorate of Technical Aid and to function as a department in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Infrastructure Concession and Regulatory Commission to be merged with Bureau for Public Enterprises. Nigerian Investment Promotion Commission to be merged with Nigerian Export Promotion Council. National Agency for Science and Technology and Science and Engineering Infrastructure to be merged with National Center for Agriculture Mechanization and the Project Development Institute. The National Biotechnology Development Agency to be merged with the National Center for Genetic Resource and Biotechnology. The National Institute for Leather Science Technology to be merged with the National Institute for Chemical Technology. The Nomadic Education Commission to be merged with the National Commission for Mass Literacy, Adult Education and Non-Formal Education. The Federal Radio Corporation to be merged with the Voice of Nigeria. The National Commission for Museum and Monuments to be merged with the National Gallery of Arts. The National Theatre to be merged with National Troop of Nigeria. The National Meteorological Development Center to be merged with the National Meteorological Training Institute. The Nigerian Army University, BU, to be merged with the Nigerian Defense Academy to function as a um, faculty within the um, Nigerian Defense Academy. Air Force Institute of Technology, also to be merged with the Nigerian Defense Academy to function as a faculty of um, Nigerian Defense Academy. Adiza Bala Usman speaking there. BKO, what do you make of this outcome by the presidency to implement the Russell Year report, although we discussed this yesterday? But first of all, let's get your perspective on the direction taken so far. I think that uh, it is clear that the government um, knows what it's doing. You know, yesterday I said, look, this is not, it's no longer a plan. This is already being executed. Mm. And Adiza Bala Usman, who is the, um, the special advisor to the president on policy coordination, has already told us the agencies that will be merged. You know? So government is proceeding with the plan already. So it's not a case of, oh, this is a reform. They are planning it. We are waiting. It may not come to a pass. People who have... Um, this attitude of not believing that um, anything will come to pass until they've seen it. Sometimes I wonder what they stand to gain by such behavior because it is clear now that they made up their minds. So it's not a question of, oh, um, this thing will happen um, um, some, uh, sometime in the past. It is already happening. And an idea that is good enough will attract support, bipartisan support. I'm not surprised that Peter will be uh, as applauded the, the uh, president for making this move because it's the right thing to do. It's the right. I would have been shocked if he said, no, this is uh, just uh, sophistry. This uh, makes no sense. No, he won't say that. He's not an illogical person. He is, uh, Peter will be saying, look, this thing was even contained in my manifesto. I would have done it. 
Because it's the best way to cut the cost of, cut governance. The cost of governance. What we pay by way of salaries to public servants, a lot of them redundant, is a lot of money. We've got to fix the bureaucracy, the federal bureaucracy. We've got to fix it. People setting up commissions, agencies that are meaningless, that are not needed. Mm. You can see now agencies of government doing the same thing, functions overlapping. We don't need that. A country that has not got uh, 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 tremendous resources shouldn't be doing that. Let's have these agencies streamlined, these um, uh, departments of government ministries streamlined so that at the end of the day we can have a nimble bureaucracy, one that is very responsive, one that is very efficient. That is the goal. It is a thing of joy to me that the same Baba Orosai that had been called names, lied against, called a thief for no reason. In the end, before he goes to meet his maker, at least he can see that the work of his hand has not gone to waste. Mm. So this is what we are seeing. This government will implement it. Whether it will uh, lead to loss of jobs, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Because uh, 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 what is important is let's not have uh, agencies, commissions doing uh, the same thing. We don't, we don't need that. And let's have a civil service where you do not need 12 drivers in an office where you have only two cars, two functional cars. Let's not have that. Indeed. None of us will have a father who has a business that needs to be run properly and will fold his arms and watch before his eyes the, uh, the, uh, the, the business uh, being run at ground mm -hmm. because of this sort of uh, inefficiencies. We need, the, the president needs to stay the course and I'm happy he has some people around him, stubborn people who, have good who, who are focused, them. once they've made up their minds about something, mm -hmm. you can't sway them. One of them is that woman that you saw. Adisa Bala Usman has that track record. The president rightfully chose her for the job that she's been, she's been given. And I'm sure that uh, um, they will see this through mm -hmm. and we will happy. Nigeria will be better again. Mm -hmm. it, it gives me hope when I see some good things happening. Look at what uh, Ned Woko said the other day. More and more Nigerians now are seeing that, look, the steps being taken by the president, however painful they are, are needed. So what they are now doing is they are suggesting, okay, this is how you can succeed. This is what you need to do. Ned Woko said, let us ban the naira, um, the dollar. dollar. Let's ban the dollar. It's the same thing that Dr. Biarelli just said today. Why do we need to put dollar. ourselves through this pain? The unusual hunger for the dollar in our country is unparalleled anywhere in the world. We need to address that nonsense. It has to stop. Tunde, let me quickly get your perspective on this matter because there's another issue that uh, the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, cited, called for caution on the part of the government to, you know, exercise in terms of implementing this. So it doesn't more or less affect uh, the civil servants. In this aspect, it could be loss of jobs, pushing many people into poverty line. But how do you think that can be implemented so that well, I think, such uh, issues doesn't arise? I think when I read that report, you see, the only thing that came to my mind was that perhaps he was thinking, I don't know how old he was in 1975 when um, Muta Ahmed took over mm. and he did the rejig of the Federal Civil Service. He lost a lot of brilliant people. So the only thing that can be done is that the, the president should set up a committee to know to identify all those people with relevant skills yes. right. in all the agencies that are to be merged and warehouse them in a particular way that their expertise can still be useful anywhere they are taking. You should not just dismiss them with the wave of the hand. They are good people in good areas that have been made redundant because either of politics or because the people that match those agencies, they were not looking at Nigeria as a country. And I think for the very first time in the history of this country, I am happy that we are having people in government that are listening to the people, that are being realistic. This is not politics. We are not talking about politics. We are talking about reality. Because the reality of the situation in Nigeria is that Nigeria today cannot afford the kind of civil service that we have, that we have 60% of them 
are not doing anything. When you have an agency for Islamic education, agency for Christian education, when you recruit people into the national space mission, and you recruit people that has uh, direct Islamic studies or Christian religious studies, what do they want to do in the, mm. in the space agency? Mm. It's not what they do there. So let us get our ass right. Let the president set up a committee that will identify expertise mm -hmm. in all the 61, 161 to be matched and assemble them together and use them appropriately instead of just dismissing them. I think I borrowed that idea so that the mistake of 1975 when the military government just sacked a lot of people that are still relevant to Nigeria mm -hmm. will not reoccur. I think it is relevant and I think they can do that. It's not a it's not, it's not difficult to do. Assemble their CV. Look at where they are coming from. Let the committee about 20 people. Let them go around all the other And what about agencies. the implementation at state level? I, I, implementing, well, 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 I think... I think not state level. It, it's not a, most of these federal agencies level. are at the federal level. Mm -hmm. And I think it behoves on the state governments too. We have 36 state governments in Nigeria. Let, her, let them be realistic about the kind of civil service. There's no way a state like Niger State to have the same number of civil service that your state has. Or Lagos has. Mm -hmm. We have to be realistic. And I, they don't also have to take the same salary. Let the president also go a step further by making sure that there is an enabling law from the National Assembly to back most of these actions yes. so that it will not be seen as if it's being punitive. Because some people begin to read politics into it that 90% mm -hmm. of those people are sacked, they are from a particular part of the country. I think we are in a, on a mission to rescue Nigeria. Like I just noted now, I just pity the president. Because he has a, a hope, he has an agenda. I'm but sure he never he knew. I'm sure he didn't know it was the, the, pe the president never knew that his hope has been compromised before he took power. Yes. By the stealing that has been done, by the oil that has been stored in. I always tell people that Nigeria has been compromised several times over. Some people sat down somewhere and they were in government for eight years. The only thing they were stealing from from us. to steal money, to steal Nigerian bank. And at the president, like I said. Stealing and buying you, private jets. I call on the members of the National Assembly. To do the needful, mm. you don't have to wait for the president. Let there be somebody who is patriotic from any part of Nigeria right. to sponsor a private member's bill to ban the use of dollar in Nigeria. Mm. Except it is, we are going for medical checkup overseas that is verified by a certified doctor in any of the teaching hospitals. If you are going for medical trip, the money should be loaded into your card. Mm. They should not give you the don't money. Don't just do transactions. Don't do transactions. The money should be loaded into your ATM card and right. go don't to America. Don't do transactions. So let somebody in the National Assembly sponsor a bill right. to ban the use of dollar in Nigeria. Right. We don't need it. Absolutely. I hope, I hope one of them will be patriotic enough to, to, to do that. Through. But it will be difficult. Yeah, I would like to thank my From fellow... From their ranks, it will be difficult. <laughs> yes, yes. Let me thank my fellow journalists. In the house, BKO, thank you so much for your insights shared yes. with us on Journalist Hangout as well. Tunde Abato. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for your insights on the program. Well, that's it on the program this evening. Join us again tomorrow for another episode of it. You can also watch a repeat broadcast tonight at 11. Join us again on Sunday from 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. We are also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. I am Esther Mokariola. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria.